Hello, I'm Rick Barclay, and I'm with Piano Clubhouse, and today we're going to learn the song Can't Fight This Feeling by REO Speedwagon. It was a mega hit during their uh, basically peak of superstar status back in the mid-80s, and this was written by Kevin Cronin. So uh, let's just get started. It is in the key of A. Key of A is this. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay, so let me play the uh, opening piano uh, lick and riff, if you will, that the, the whole song is uh, infamous for, and then we'll go back and explain what all is going on. intro, uh, what's happening is basically you're doing some pedal tones, if you will, here in the, in the left hand for two measures, it's A, another two measures, it's F sharps, D for another measure, and then the next measure would be D and E, E from 3-4. It is in 4-4 and it starts on a pickup, so it's and the one, and the, those notes right there are on the and of four. They're 16th notes, and a one. Okay, so this is basically mapping out an A triad. So those notes are A, B, and then it's A and C sharp to E, and then we're it's still an A chord, it's just we go, go up and grab the E because it makes a different melodic idea or you know line, and then pivoting back to the E, and then it's going to be G sharp and B, which is going to be an E over A chord, back to the E, and then this time again, going back up to the E, it's always going back up to the C, and it's G sharp, B, and E, and then back down to the E. Okay, so that measure, okay, next measure is an F sharp over A, and it's almost like a um, F sharp minor 7 with the E, and the because we're always talking back to the end of each uh, measure, the ands, are going to be this E. So it's F sharp and A to E. And then this is kind of a, a weird stretch. What I do instead of keeping the F sharp in the whole picture is I release that and I go to the A and the E. So more of an open fifth type sound. Um, you might be able to stretch out and keep that F sharp in there. It just depends upon the size of your hand. And then it goes back to the E over A, so G sharp, B, and then the E. And then again the pickups, A, B, um, and then we're going to go down to the F sharp, sorry. So it's A over F sharp. So notice it's still the same, with the C sharp in the top, and then toggling it back on the ends on the E. Up to the E on the top, to an E top again, okay, so see how we're basically kind of doing this, that's what the melodic idea is with the top notes in the uh, right hand, okay, and then it goes down again to that F sharp minor, uh, F sharp minor 7 actually, so F sharp, A, and then the E, one, and two, and then to an E over this F sharp, E, sharp B and then an E G sharp B okay basically arpeggiating which we just kind of played um, and then we change bass notes still the same A you know C sharp on the top and then this you know formation if you will it's a second version A, A triad with D in the bass okay same thing and then the E G sharp and B which is part of the E triad and then you arpeggiate it Okay, and here's the last measure of that riff. Kind of an E sus type of a feel, D's in the bass, E, F sharp, A. And that right there was D, C sharp. And then it's a D over E, A, D, F sharp, with D in the bass, to a full fledged, sorry, that should have been that. Sorry about that, that was a D over E, the E's in the bass, then to the full fledged E. So, B, E, G sharp.
Now we're ready for the verse. So it's an A, so A in the bass, A's, and then E, A, and C sharp. And by the way, we're, we're doing the piano part. We're not really going to play any of the vocal melodic lines. I'm just showing you what the piano part is for the song. So we're placing quarter notes, basically, and then every now and then you can do some eighth note ands to keep help moving the rhythm along since, you know, you're just going to be doing this by yourself. Now, if you're with a band, then you might just want to, uh, you know, keep this steady as a whole note. So an E triad, E, G sharp, B, 3, 4, to that F sharp, um, minor, 7, to the E, F sharp, A, still A in the bass, back up to the E, okay, so those two measures again, being very light with your left hand, okay, now this is B minor now, B is in the bass, D, F sharp, and B, Flat. This is a B flat augment. It's a really cool chord that it goes to. B flat, D, F sharp. That's the, the augmented part, and then the B flat. Four. So an E sus, E, B, E. The sus part's the A, and then the B. And then resolve it on count three to the F sharp. And then it does that little um, octave E, 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 and four and. So that's one. Back to the same uh, inversion of the A with the C sharp on the top, and then we're going to walk down our bass now. So A's on count three goes to G sharp, and then it's E triad three, four. Nice little chord there, E minor over G. So we're walking down in half steps. G, E, G, B. That's one, two. Now at this point, you instead of blocking it, it's going to be kind of arpeggiating uh, notes. So it's an F sharp now, F sharp's in the bass, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, so that's three and four and four. Okay, so this is the new material. Let me just kind of play through it. Two, 